Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CGC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very impressive bounce. I mean, you stop and think about the fact that during the first 30 minutes, the price was all the way down here to basically 2050. And then all of a sudden the price managed to close all the way back up there at uh, you know $22. That was a very, very impressive bounce. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this bounce? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction or dead cat bounce? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, the key level that's gonna help us answer this question is down here at $21 and we'll call it 35 cents. So why is 21.35 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, so a bounce that's actually a bounce well, the price is gonna keep on bouncing, right? Or in other words, the price is gonna make progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 2135. If the price did go down in there, but then just continued on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very you know, literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back to where it was when it was flirting with those lows. And again, price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price went down here, the difference being in this situation, behave like that before starting to work its way back upwards. Now what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have these lows down there if you envision each of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. And once more in this situation, progress being defined as 2135. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, it's all about that purple line right there, the very famous 50 period simple moving average. And you know, even if you have a basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 50 period moving average and you know that when the price is down below it, it does tend to act as resistance. So this, seeing this sort of price action right there where it approached that purple line and then got rejected, uh, not that shocking at all. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not saying the price can never break up above that purple line. I'm just saying that you know, uh, according to the story now that's being told to us here via the chart, apparently the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to not only get above that level, but also be able to stay up above it. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very impressive bounce today. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum I'm going forward. Let's see what happens. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.